name is Brad Adams. I'm the freshman instructor here at Thaddeus Stevens College of Technology in the program Graphic Communications and Printing Technology. My name is Mike Brady. I'm the second year instructor here and we're going to tell you about uh, what it's like in the graphics program. As a first year student coming here to Thaddeus Stevens College, you're not expected to have a strong knowledge base in the field. We start at ground zero, zero if you will. Starting with basic knowledge, um, we push the Adobe environment, Adobe Photoshop, Adobe InDesign, Dreamweaver, Illustrator to develop our images. We start from scratch, from a thumbnail sketch, take it to desktop publishing, take it to press, and then finally finish it into bindery applications. We expect students to stay on task for four hours a day. We push a, a business-like environment. We try to replicate what's done commercially in this field to prepare you for your future career. The second year we begin to ramp things up a little bit and I expect a little bit more out of you as far as the workload and the quality of the content. We'll spend time diving into what graphic design actually is, the end goals of it. Um, we talk about how to craft a message and how to change that based on specific audiences and we also look at the role printing plays in marketing. Uh, for example, creating direct mail advertisements, uh, variable data, and augmented reality. Beyond that, we expect students to interact with different types of printing, for screen printing, for example, or offset printing. Uh, so students need to know how to design that message based on how it will be output, either print or web. We expect students to further that, take it into the bindery and turn that printed piece into something. So for example, we do a 20 page book where each student needs to design 20 pages, create a 16 page imposition, print that, fold it and bind it and create their own piece based off that. During the time that you're here, you have four hours of lab a day. We usually start the program off the day off with 45 minutes of lecture time, explaining the processes, how to take your product from start to finish. The remainder of the time really is a hands-on experience, practical application, replicating what's done in the field of graphic communications. We cover everything here. It's graphic communications and printing technology. So you may be designing for some part of the day, but after that you're going to be getting your hands dirty and you're going to be working and running a press and cleaning a press and taking it apart. I'm coming back to the screen area and printing on frisbees, printing on pens, all sorts of different unique elements. Along with the problem solving, it takes in bindery. How are we going to fold this paper? How are we going to bind these pages together to create a book? So it's really duality in this program, both the design and the production. A lot of students feel that they hear the word graphic arts. You truly do not have to have artistic ability to draw. Um, the images are developed by desktop publishing means. So there's not a true need to be an artist, if you will, to become successful in graphic communications. We look for people who are collaborative in nature. They can work in a team. They can get along with others. They have good problem solving skills. Uh, design is really just sort of manufacturing uh, some kind of plan to solve a problem, to communicate from a company to a consumer, and that's what we really look for. So if you're somebody who's interested in creative thinking, who likes being faced with a challenge and deciphering a way to figure that out, then the graphics communication and printing technology at Thaddeus Stevens might be a good fit for you. Hi, my name is Peter Rodriguez. I'm a second year student at Thaddeus Stevens College of Technology. I'm currently studying graphic communications and printing technologies. Basically, I would definitely start off by asking the question to yourself, you know, why, why, why do you want to do this major? Why do you think you would best suit the graphic communications field as well as the printing technologies field? Because there's a lot of things that go into this, such as time management, being able to deliver be ready for deadlines. You may want to come here to be specifically just a designer. Like me personally, I do love design, but I still also have to learn the printing side of things. It's not all just design. I think being on time and being proficient and being efficient, we come to class and there is always lectures. There is, um, you're constantly learning. You're just a sponge. And it's one of those things that you can really take out everything from this place. And, and this place has so many resources and, and there's so much knowledge and creativity coming out of here. And you could either utilize it to its, you know, in its entirety, or you can just completely throw it away. And I've, I've seen both aspects of that. I know me personally in high school, I had a lot of graphic design classes and I thought I knew what design was. 
it kind of really got me by in high school and here was just a really humbling experience because I was surrounded by such creativity and other creative kids and it showed me that I had to withdraw from you know just making things look pretty and really focus on being fundamentally good and delivering giving clients what they want as opposed to just throwing stuff on a paper even within the printing world it's just tons of problem solving when it comes to using the offset machine and the folder and all these things you really have to problem solve you really have to understand that hey look this is something a, a problem that I need to solve on my own you're not gonna have your hand held a lot of the times I mean I think the professors here do a great job of transitioning from a first year to a second year student um, the first year, you know, you do learn a lot and it's a lot of fundamentals. The teacher's getting everybody on that same even playing ground. And I think the second year is really um, on your own, you know, like you know it already and here's what you have to do and it's just your time to actually show that you can work off of your knowledge and what you have already learned and experienced. We're never going to learn it all. We're just constantly learning and there's never going to be a point where you're like, I understand this and this is completely done. There's always something you can do better. If you come here with that mentality and the mindset of not just studying in a sense, you know, just reading over things to be ready for a quiz maybe or a test or whatever the project may be, but studying in a way that you can really understand it so that when you do go to take those quizzes and tests and do the projects, you can apply what you understand as opposed to something you just read. I think that's a huge part of it because these are things that we're going to be applying in every aspect of our lives in our future. And if we don't understand it now and don't grasp a hold of it now and use the resources now, I think that um, that could be very detrimental in the future when we don't have these resources and we don't have these professors to help guide us. This is a place that will really take you to that next level and where you want to be. You just have to utilize all your resources. That, that's really ultimately what it comes down to.